Hi everyone, welcome to Linda's Creative Life. I'm here to um, share a few things that I've purchased lately. I haven't been going out very much, but I did go out and went to Hobby Lobby to see what they had on clearance. Not that I need anything, like nothing, like, like zippity doodah. <laughs> But that does not stop us addictive <laughs> crafters, craftaholics. So anyway, but I was very, very good. I really was. So um, I did buy a pack of tissue paper. And it's got these fabulous mustaches on it. Isn't that wonderful? They only had one pack and I'm sharing it with my friend Mimi because she is doing some steampunk things. Um, and then I kept a couple of sheets for myself. I think it was like 37 cents or something. It was awesome. I wish there had been more because I would have purchased some for her, but I shared with her. And then I only other thing I got, well, I got... Let's see, what else did I get? <laughs> um, I got, wait, I've lost something. Oh, well. Matters not, does it? Nope. Okay. So, I got bags. Little bags, because I have really been enjoying um, decorating the bags, decoupaging them or decorating them. They're just a cute way to send out a little gift. So I got this pack of, there was yellow, pink, turquoise, and hot pink, and they were um, 24 bags for 74 cents. So I got that package of them. I got a package of the glassine, and I got a package of um, the brown ones. So these are super. And then I did get a larger package of the brown sacks. These are five by seven and they were 99 cents. So that was my big thing. I did buy a package of stickers of uh, the LOL girls, but I seem to have dropped them somewhere. Now I have to find them, but anyway. <laughs> oh well, hi. <laughs> So, um, another thing I purchased, and this is so tiny, but I went to Dollar General, which I'm about to take my mom to Dollar General this morning. We shall see. But they had these cute pack of napkins for a dollar. And you know how I love napkins. So, the bunny is only, only on one corner. But look at all the other little flowers and eggs. So... I will be sharing some of these bunnies with some of my friends. So I've already um, taken off the backing of one and I will be doing some decoupage with that. And I might even be making a bag. Can you see how cute that bunny would be on the bag? Wouldn't that be a cute bag? I think we'll do that maybe later today after I take my mom shopping. So, the other thing I have is some things I bought from my friend, uh, Melissa Davis, who is by Mimi with Love. She is an amazing maker, crafter, creator, artist. She's just amazing. And she has um, decided she's going to do some online sales hopefully at least once a month, maybe twice a month of her handmade items because they're just, they're stunning and she loves making them. And then, you know, this will help her out because she is like many of us on a fixed income and the prices go up, but the fixed income stays fixed way down here. Those of you on a fixed income understand. So, um, she made uh, some awesome things and uh, she had a sale um, a little over a week ago and it was just so fabulous. And I thank all of you who joined in and um, I helped her moderate um, 
watched the feed and made sure she, you know, as she put the items up that we didn't wait too long and we just kept it moving and it was really great. It was great. And Annie and Russ Wynn helped with uh, moderating also by um, making sure the chat, greeting everybody. So it was a lovely group effort and Mimi sold so many of her beautiful products. And I want to share a couple of things that I purchased from her. As uh, a moderator, you don't usually, you know, an online, you don't usually buy a lot, but I, I was able to get a couple of things. So she made all of these fabulous envelopes that she sewed and she's going to make some more. She said, these were book pages, roses out of a book. She added the ribbon and the snap and then inside she included some great little envelopes, little brown coin envelopes, a parking tick, a parking permit. I'm going to use that in my journals. I love CD holders. These are so fabulous for so many things. And these great Tyvek envelopes and all of this she sold for $2. Oh my gosh. Look at the sewing involved in this and the snap. I love these. These would be so fabulous to send to somebody. So she is going to make some more of those. We have told her she has to, to sell them. Um, she also was selling a pack of these, of cards, and um, she did not make these, but she did cur curate them. And I love these cards. These are fabulous to put in journals or do mixed media. Look at the hibiscus playing cards. Look at these playing cards. These are adorable. Aren't these cute? These are um, some game, kind of game cards, but look at the front. They're gorgeous, and the back has different things. These are just stunning. Look at this. They could be used in so many ways. Um, she included two large playing cards. A king and a queen for me, and this one has penguins, and this one has the anchor, but these are fabulous. Two um, vintage, um, uh, what do you call it, music cards, some sort of music flash cards or something, I don't know, but they are awesome, and a vintage bingo card. And all of that was only $4. So that was a real bargain if you know how um, expensive it is to, to add up all these things. So I was happy to get that. And um, she had printed out for me. You know, this I did not purchase from her. This was, this is Annie's Elephants. It's a digi kit that Jovi uh, created and sold and I do not have a color printer and so I bought the kit and then Mimi was printed it out for me and I I think you've probably seen this a lot of different places if not you should go to Jovi's and look but I've been waiting to get this to make some fun stuff it was uh, named uh, created in in honor of our friend Annie Creates uh, by Jovi and she made a gorgeous journal using this paper and Annie purchased it because you know it had her name all over it she said and she showed it on her um, channel today and and um, and uh, I will link that below and so the last thing that I want to share oh you made me a card in that cute and that's using another one of Jovi's um, that was her Valentine um, digital <clears throat> and the last thing that um, Mimi made, I fell in love with this. I begged her to save one of these for me, and she said she would because these sold out in a flash. And I don't usually ask for something ahead of time, but this is stunning. And it is an Oriental kit that she put together. And let me show you what's in it. This is just how she curates things. So there's this cute little cat uh, coin envelope that she put. And there's a couple of little 
little uh, creations that she did, and she wrote that herself. Uh, she said she doesn't really know Chinese or Japanese, but that's what she did. Isn't that cute? She's so talented. And then she made some mixed media cards. Oh, so pretty. But that is just, I love the way she uses her sewing machine and stitches all these things together to just create so much art. And this is probably my favorite thing in the whole kit, which I love it all, but this is stunning. And y you can't even completely tell by, uh, because when I got it in my hand, even though I had seen it, it is just unbelievable. But this is an embossing folder that she did on a card. And then she used gold, some sort of gold, ink it's i don't know it's gorgeous and she and then she stitched it with look at this amazing paper this is just i just i i love it so in the kit is another little envelope and some cute little piece oh like a like bamboo paper isn't that terrific and some other little just little like stamps, like Asian stamps. And then the big envelope, again, sewn. Look at that paper, it says Japan. Oh, and then it is full of other stuff. And I have to tell you, she sold this whole kit for $12. I could never have found all of this, curated it, made the items she made for $12. These are just stunning. So if you, she sold out of these, but um, she is going to be making some more kits. Look at this, the mix, look at the poppy. And that says, trust your soul. And it's just a little, little flip. I, I See, I just can't get over it. Look at this. Look at this. And this is beautiful. This is a little tablet. Look at that. Sewn. And it's got guest check pieces on the back that you could write a little journal or make notes or something. So all of that was $12. So she's um, going to be making more... Um, kits. I don't know what her next theme will be, but I know it's going to be exciting. I've heard talk of mermaids, bees, sewing, who knows. That woman's brain is just amazing. And then because she's one of my best friends, she sent me a little gift and she sent me this Alice book. What would Alice do? She heard me talking about wanting to do an Alice in Wonderland project. And look at this. I will not tear up this book, but it's got all these the pictures and, and just sayings and quotes from Alice in Wonderland. And I just love it. I'm going to be just reading this and playing with, isn't that sweet? That was so sweet of her to send this to me. I absolutely love it. So that is my current collection of goodies that I've purchased. Um, I wanted to thank you all for stopping in, and I wanted to ask you a question. Cat ears or no cat ears? Am I getting too old for cat ears? Is it time to retire the cat ears, or are they just so much fun that I should keep wearing them? You tell me. Thanks, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.